Hey guys, this is the Editor Editor. I'm coming at you guys with a Red Dead Online video, and I have 100% figured out how to get paid every single time for your bounty hunting missions. Now, it is a very, very common belief that you guys can just start the mission and stand there and don't touch anything and wait on the mission to completely start, and you'll be fine, but I have found that that really isn't the case, because multiple times I tried this tonight, it black screened on me while I did that exact thing. I even had one particular case where it took me literally over 60 seconds, I am not exaggerating, over 60 seconds for the mission to start, and it black screened anyway. I was messing around with it for about an hour and a half, and I actually found a way how to get paid every single time. I'm not even kidding, this is not clickbait. I found this myself, I don't know if like coincidentally someone else has found this, but I did myself. I don't know if Jay Stone has uploaded his video yet, but in his stream he was saying that if you just stand there and start it, it will get it to go, but that's just because they were doing basically the same thing that I was doing. They didn't notice they were doing it. I kind of noticed it a little bit and I, I decided to go like do it myself and I figured out exactly what causes this. Now, typically whenever you first load into your game, the first bounty hunting mission that you start up is going to be a black screen. Now, a lot of people like to leave that and then get a new session after that or you could just fail it or whatever. You can technically do that and still like get paid for the next one, but how you consistently do this, whenever you get a black screen one, it puts you in a solo session. All right, you guys want to finish the black screen one. Just kill the target, turn it in, whatever. Just get it done as fast as you can. Now, as soon as you turn that in, you want to run and start up another one as fast as possible before it puts you in a session with other people. Because I have found it will keep you in that solo session once you start up another one if you start one while you're still in the solo session. And it'll start it up without the black screen and you will get paid for every single one that you do this with. Now, a lot of the times it will say turn the bounties in in like a wagon that's not anywhere close to a department that has a bounty board outside. Don't worry about that. You can go to any town that has a police department. Even if it's telling you, like for me right here, it was saying go to the prison wagon. But then it let me go to Rhodes, or I, I don't know where it was. I think it was Rhodes because I got close enough to it. And then I went there because the prison wagon was out in the middle of nowhere and there was no way I was going to be able to start up a mission within like that same minute of turning it in. So I went to Rhodes and then I, I booked it over to the, the bounty board and started it up. Now it will say at the top left that you started a job too recently. Just stand there until the thing at the bottom right uh, goes to where you can actually click square or X depending on the console uh, to start it up. And then you want to start one up immediately. And I promise you every single time that you do that, like in succession it will pay you for the mission at the end. I, I don't know why it works this way, but if there's people in your session, a lot of the times it'll screw it up. Not every single time, but a lot of the times it will. Uh, demonstrated here. Um, I showed there's people there. This is whenever it took me like a whole 60 seconds to actually start the mission. I'm going to cut it in the in the video here because I don't want you to have to sit there and just watch me stand but I promise I did not touch the controller I did not do anything there was multiple times tonight that it that I did exactly that did not touch the controller I even put it down on the table and it still gave me the black screen but once I started doing this that's when it worked so you guys want to go ahead and get a black screen and then play through that whole mission turn the mission in and then run to the bounty board and start one up right as soon as you can now also if you guys have exhausted all of the other ones besides the legendary bounty at a specific town, so let's say you did the two regular bounties in Valentine and it's wanting you to turn it back in in Valentine so you can't start one up but the legendary bounty, you guys want to go ahead and just not go to Valentine. You want to go to Rhodes or St. Denis, wherever there is a fresh bounty board, that's where you want to go and you can keep swapping towns. You can go from St. Denis to Rhodes, from Rhodes to Ansberg, from Ansberg to Valentine from Valentine to Strawberry, wherever you want to go that there is a police department that you can turn in the crooks. That is that is really all that you have to do. Once you're in the solo session, go turn the bounty in. You can sit there and camp the clock out if you want to to get the max profit. Turn the bounty in. Start one up as soon as you turn it in. Just sprint to the board, start it up, and there you go. If you're with a posse, it works the exact same way. You guys will be getting the solo lobby with just you guys in the black screen mission. Finish that. You'll only get gold for it. And then as soon as you finish it, start one up as soon as possible. Like, don't let it fill your game up with other people because that's when it gives you the black screen. It was very consistent for me, but it could be inconsistent with someone else. This is so dumb because probably on the... T I don't know when I'm releasing this uh, video, 
but probably on the Tuesday update, they're going to patch all the money glitches, but not patch this. Th that's just how Rockstar is. I don't know why you're stopping them from doing money glitches. I understand that, but you're going to stop them from trying to make money legit as well. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say in today's video. If you guys can try to get this video to Jay Stone so he knows for a fact that that is how this works, because I don't know if he's uploaded his video yet by now, but he was talking about it and he was doing the standstill method. Uh, for me, that did not work one time <laughs> that I was trying this. I had to do the method that I explained in the video. And I've, I'm applying footage all throughout my commentary. I'm going to end the video now. So, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike. If you guys want to see more videos like this, like Red Dead Online videos or anything like that, go ahead and hit the sub button and you will see more. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.